because I have all kinds of fun stuff to talk about tonight. <laughs> I can't see him. I can't see him. Chad. <laughs> no, I can't see him. Okay, okay, let me see. Oh, that looks so much better like that, Chad. Chad's holding it up the way you're supposed to take a picture. Jetty has a smarty pants friend who um, is not uh, not a Plexus ambassador, and he always has smarty pants things to say about something about me having a one of those things called a drone. He's like, "Do you have a drone that follows you around?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And then you know, choice mumbling under my breath, but <laughs> usually I say something because he's someone who would really never be caught dead doing plexus kind of person personality and always say I can always tell a fan or a follower when they know exactly my camera angle you freak but I don't say that well I say all of it except for the you freak part anyway here we go I need to mute people oh all right it's time I'm managing participants okay we are recording true okay first of all we just ended an October that was like no October I have ever seen. Actually, it was like no month I've ever seen. Super excited about everything that happened. And the fear coming out of a, a, a month like that is you think, oh my gosh, I mean, how can we possibly sustain the momentum? And so let me just say about October that a bunch of Holy Spirit coolness fell in place. <laughs> in regards to the promotion, uh, the Deary's had this amazing idea to do the belly buster challenge, which we have so many, we have new people on our team, maybe even on this call tonight because of a belly buster challenge that they dreamed up. And I thought that was amazing. Krista told me today, she's like, or today or yesterday, I've got all my days mixed up, but basically she was like, that idea was straight from God. Um, just the way everything fell for October was beautiful. And it felt so beautiful for people like Krista Deary and uh, Heather Grenier that they actually ranked up to emeralds this month, which, yes, yes. <laughs> Beside myself at that, Chad Deary ranked up to, to Ruby. Um, we just had, let me just say this. Do what? Yeah, we had a, that's what Jetty doesn't know. Jetty thinks I'm going to forget to say Congratulations to everyone who ranked up or re-ranked this past month. It was an incredible month for momentum. And literally, I could have made the team call tonight about that. I could have said, I want to interview the Dearies and I'm going to interview Heather. And I'm going to... But that will have to wait for maybe next week after I get you the information that I have to lead into November with. Is everybody okay with that? Because I feel like when you have momentum like this, <laughs> and you know where it came from, you wanna duplicate it, okay? So here we go. I shared a document in the butterfly page just a few minutes ago, and basically I'm gonna scan down through the document. You don't have to be looking at it to understand. I, I sat and analyzed once, once I actually kinda of came down off of the adrenaline, whatever that was yesterday, after October ended, and then yesterday it was like I was kinda of comatose for part of the day, and then <sighs> and it came out of this zombiness and I was like, wow. And I began to analyze, okay, Lori, let's think through what, besides the rank up promotion, what fell in perfect place to cause momentum like it did. And actually, and that, this was another thing that the Deary's had a great idea that they had. What I'm going to lead with is what we're going to do this week, maybe like tomorrow morning the guessing game that we did, like guess how many whatever candy corns or gumballs or paper clips or whatever are in the jar in order to win a stick of slim. Now, I want to explain some of this stuff to you of why this creates momentum. It's because it creates the perfect environment for follow up. If you do a guessing game that's, that's giving away a stick of slim or a trial pack, you know that the people who are guessing are actually interested in trying your product. They're not people telling you what color to paint your wall. You understand the distinction. Now, both can create momentum on your Facebook as far as...
Somebody unmuted themselves. Okay. Both can create momentum traffic on your Facebook page. Um, just traffic though. The ones that are actually answering a question, a quiz, something to be in a drawing or guess the right answer to win a product, they're not going to go to the trouble to do that if they're not interested in your product. So by the fact that so many people answered, and this was Krista's idea, so many people answered and you have all of these people to follow up with. And so what I did, I put it an action plan today to continue the momentum or create momentum because we started it in October. It created the momentum. We will do it again and it will continue the momentum. So this is the plan to create holiday momentum. This plan is all about proper coaching on how to make this work. You start with a guessing game post. For example, how many candy corn are in the jar? Here's what I did on the night of the debate. I said, stop, important debate question. And I put little American flags. I said, it's a giveaway, let's play a game. How many gumballs are in the machine? The person who is closest will win a seven day Plexus Slim trial from Jetty and myself. Um, we are accepting guesses until tomorrow night. Don't worry about writing this down. This is all in notes and they're on the butterfly page already. Okay. We will give away, uh, we're accepting guesses until tomorrow. And I, you know, tell when the winner will be announced on Friday morning. You can tell us who you're rooting for in the, the debate tonight too, if you want. Anyone can play, share with your friends. Oh my gosh, the crazies all came out. They wanted to stick a slim and tell me who they're voting for, right? Okay, you pick the winner, whoever guesses closest. Then, here's the key. Follow up with each person who guessed, saying something like, hey, thanks for entering the gumball guessing game. The, and then I put the little, little, little celebration horns like, ah, you know. Uh, the answer was actually 264. A guy actually guessed the exact number. Any chance you'd have any interest in of letting me put you in a Facebook event page? We're doing this short thing Tuesday night. A few of my friends are going to tell about what's happened for them since starting Plexus. I'd love for you to drop in. Almost everybody said yes. Okay, and I had hundreds. I had, well, you guys got to understand, I have a bunch of Facebook followers that don't realize that I don't mean Plexus ambassadors. So I had ended up with 20 something guests that were actual guests who are not already involved in Plexus from me asking that question. Okay. The, in the notes also, it says, then just let the conversation start rolling in. Do not puke Plexus on people. Let the event give the info. Understand this is going to, it's beautiful. The way this all holds hands. Once they give you permission, that is a key. I saw people in the group saying, what is going on? What is happening? Cause all of these live feeds are popping up and they did not give some of you permission to put them in there. And they're like, get me out of here. I did not ask for this or give permission for this, but, but we can eliminate that by asking permission. Just like I just said, once they've given you permission, you add them to the event. Also, this is important. You send them the link to the event after you have added their name. That way they can easily find it by clicking that. Does everybody understand this? After you've added them, you say, I added you to it. Here is the actual link. Make sure you click going. Okay. The reason they have to click going, Apparently, it's harder to what, or it's harder for the live feeds to come up if they never respond to the going thing. Okay, that there was a lot of confusion last time because of that too. You want to coach them to say that they're going. Tag them when I do a test video before the party. I'll do a test video that's like, "Hey, just making sure the video works in here. Here are some of the prizes, so on and so forth." Everybody understand? And then you want to tag them in there so that they know where, where it is. They're like, okay, they're used to seeing the videos pop up in there. This, this doing uh, launch parties inside events is new enough that people are like, what is going on? That's why people were like, I can't stay caught up. And we're eliminating the bellyache in this time, right? We're going to make sure everybody has clicked going. 
We're also going to tell them to make sure that they are near strong Wi-Fi the night of the event. Put the list of those who have agreed in a note in your phone, the ones who you've invited, put their names in a list and use that to be able to tag folks in the group once the party starts. <clears throat> party day, send a short reminder around noon to your prospects. Then one reminder, one more reminder by tagging them about five minutes before go time. Then here is the kicker. This is what I didn't coach you on well enough last time. We did great, but I could have done better is what I'm saying. You have to make the evening of the party a priority to you. So Tuesday night, this coming Tuesday night, we're going to do this crazy thing all over again, okay? You need to be there if you've invited guests. The reason I say this is because I went on that event page today and was scrolling down through making this list out. And in looking through the list, I found numerous people asking for testimonies. Does anybody know if this will help with X, Y, Z? And no one had answered them. That tells me one of you weren't in there. And also, here's another thing. I don't know if you've, if you've ever waited tables. You know, if you wait tables and someone else's food, another waitress's food comes up in the window, you take it out. And you don't get the tip from that table. You just do it. And then when it's your turn and they see your food come up in the window, they take the food out to your table. That's what waitressing is all about. And that's how these parties work. So if you see somebody out there floundering around, they got a guest and the guest needs help. And the guest is asking, like, I can't see what's going on. You can, you can politely say, hey, Wi-Fi. You probably need to get closer to Wi-Fi. Okay, yes, it is. I understand it went so fast last time. That's why we're going to do all this coaching so that we don't have any, as much trouble this time. I think it's imperative that it goes fast because you don't want something like this that's pinging their phone forever to last two hours. Does everybody understand? All right. I have put the testimony link, the link to the testimonies. Have the testimony link handy. That way you can click there. If you see someone going, I don't know how to learn about something or the other. Help me. Does this help with such and such? You, whoever sees it, can go to the testimony link, pull a couple of posts, Facebook links over, put them underneath the uh, where they're asking or send it to them privately. You want to give a couple of minutes. Maybe they're, the person who invited them will, will answer them. But I didn't like the fact that I went back over there today and I couldn't tell. Maybe the person who invited them had private messaged them, but maybe they hadn't. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is a week after and these people may not know the answer to whether it would help with whatever they have going on with their health. Okay. So when you see someone ask a question that you're certain of the answer to, that's important. You need to be certain of the answer. Answer it. If you see someone ask a question you don't know the answer to and no one seems to be answering, Private message a leader in, the, in uh, our team uh, who might be able to help answer them. If someone is uh, needing to see testimonies, there are tons of testimonies in the link above. Read the instructions at the top of that link to know how to properly use those testimony links. Last but not least, if you invite prospects, please consider, this is just an idea because I feel like we're gonna do this more and more often. If we're gonna do it more and more often, I'm gonna remind you of the smoky burnout, okay? The smoky burnout that happened last week happened because I was running to the other room. I looked, by the time I got on video, I looked like a duck above the water. And underneath the water, my, my little fins, my little pet, my little, I was doing this, whatever. This is what I was doing underneath the water. Running around like a chicken, a duck, really. And the thing is, I would like to just be a duck from head to toe and not have to have my little legs going like this. So consider if you invite a guest to next week's event to please consider donating a prize for the party. This will take the weight off of one or five people and spread the workload and make it easier to do these launches more often. Now, would you like to do the launches more often? 
Now, I, I've given some ideas for prizes. Now, not everybody has to, I don't want anybody who's brand new and is like, what? She's asking for prizes? But if you plan on inviting 15 prospects or something like that, I would really love a couple or three days in advance of the party to have several pictures of prizes so that when I do the video before the party actually starts, I can turn and show a row of pictures of prizes that everyone plans to donate. Now, the prizes may not go to someone you have invited. You'll have to pick, pick from when you post your prize, basically. You'll have to pick, or I'm not sure how that will work out yet, if I need to do it or if we need to do it individually, because I don't want a lot of posts on there making there be a lots and lots and lots of traffic. But I do want people to consider now, I put some ideas. Here are the ideas for prizes. Um, budget ideas, Dollar Tree, little sticky note pads or like shopping spree pads uh, that you can hang on, they have a magnet on them, uh, nail polishes, lip gloss, fun socks, they have little Christmas socks, gloves, um, those are all expen inexpensive and they ship in a little mailer. You know, you can get these little tiny manila envelopes and you could make up, a, you could make up something that had a lip gloss, a nail polish, and a set of gloves that from the Dollar Tree, that would be $3. If you put it in a mailer, those mailers are two for a dollar. So a prize doesn't have to be something that you're like, oh my gosh, you could go get something cute and make it easy, something that will um, mail easily. Okay. Um, drink bottles, mugs, those don't mail as easily, but those would be great ideas for, for prizes if you want to go to that trouble. Other ideas would be product, samples, cell chargers. You can go to Ross or somewhere to a budget store and get little, um, whatever they call them, USB thing, chargers for like four or five bucks sometimes. Earbuds like that go from a device that you can listen to music, jewelry, these types of things, okay? Everybody following me so far? Nobody's freaking out about the prize thing, okay. So I put underneath there your shopping list. If you're like, I want to be in on this, I need to be on a, in on this, whatever. I put candy corn or something else to put in a jar if you don't have something. A jar if you don't have one. A prize and a mailer. Is everybody okay with this so far? Okay. I see some of you got really major squinting going on and it's, it's troublesome to me. Oh, now Misty Blankenship, she's like shaking her finger at me like I'm just squinting for no reason. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> okay, now I wanted to make sure that everybody, now the rest of the document that I shared is, she's reading the chat without glasses, that's awesome. The, re the rest of the document that I shared is so that if you want to do one of these at some other time without me, um, it tells you how to, how to coach your speakers so that your live speakers can do this in five minutes. So everybody comes on and shares what their story is in five minutes. Okay. So basically listen to this. I'm, I'm, I'm in love and I'm in love with this thing that I put together today. From the examples below, choose two results that have been most impactful for you. So productive energy, improved immune function, muscle gain, improved health, weight loss, better mood, improved sleep, and then I put about eight or 10 others. And then that's products, uh, choose two of the finances, paying off debt, more freedom and spending, more family time, I quit my day job, able to let my kid do dance lessons now, I'm giving examples. You write those two things down, two of each. So then you write down two examples of how A and B impacted your life plus one side benefit. So for example, I have energy to play with my kids after work or my house has never been so clean. Plus I'm saving money because I don't consume coffee, soda, fast food, whatever snack anymore. The income has provided us with the ability to go on vacations and have more family time. So that's an extra thing that you would add into that. 
Then you select two items from the table below, which are most nearly the opposite of A and B. And most closely describe your situation before plexus. So for example, I was tired all day. That would be the opposite of having more energy, right? I used to be so tired. Uh, I couldn't gain muscle. I had poor eating habits. I had an afternoon slump, tired of the, at the end of a workout, up and down all the time, struggled with my weight, broken sleep, snacking all day, constipated, high stress, whatever. Or on the, uh, on the financial end, we were in debt, we had no time freedom, we worked long hours, so stressed from our finances, it looked like no end in sight. And you write one of, the, one of each of those things down. Now what you're doing when you're filling in these blanks like A, B, C, D, later you're gonna come down here and it's gonna say, I used to be, let's see. I used to be so, and then you fill in what you wrote with H. And then I used to be H and I. So for example, you're talking about so stressed and never could get dinner together on time. Yes, it's like Mad Libs. It's exactly like this. <laughs> I stole this from an AdvoCare thing, and it still says AdvoCare in one of the sentences. I just noticed that. I'll change that. Until someone shared. I added a lot to it, but I stole their, their layout. Okay. It says, I was very impressed with such and such. So I got started on some of the products, too. What happened is I am no longer blank or blank. You know, I don't know. Um, angry and constipated. I don't know, you know, whatever you want to say. And in fact, I'm actually really excited and, you know, opposite of constipated. And <laughs> these products <laughs> help, helped me to, after you have basically gotten to the end of this, you have figured out how to do a five minute story by filling in the blanks with the A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. Don't go sharing that till, with everybody till I go get the AdvoCare over there. The interesting thing that I have to tell you though, since I stole it from AdvoCare, I thought I had replaced it in every spot, but the interesting thing I have to tell you is I had to go in and add the parts about the finances to the entire, every portion of it, because the only places that they had anything about it improving your life were an assumption that you were taking the products, not making any money everywhere. I kept thinking, well, where do they talk about how it's changed their life in regards to, I don't see that anywhere. I don't see, it must be on this page. No, I don't see it anywhere. It's on this. Nope. It's nowhere, nowhere to be found. That, that gave me an inclination that, um, well, I'm going to let you make all the assumptions, right? Somebody in the live feed on or the Facebook live that I'm doing here, they said they call it angstipated, angry and constipated. That's pretty funny. Okay, so there's more actually to the, I'm not going to read the rest of it to you because the rest of, you, of it tells you how to do the live party, the actual launch. And all of the stuff that's involved in that, like the actual script to use. I mean, I was a busy little bee today. We, I put together, now I want you to notice that the script, when you go and look at this, I want you to notice that there's not a lot of script. It's not like a regular online launch party because the content is coming from the people talking, right? The majority of what you want going on is you want them to listen and each person gives away a prize, right? But the thing is about this that you need to understand is each time I gave away a prize in between, I only gave away a prize to, to answers that would gain follow-up momentum. So I would say something like, tell, uh, if you wanna be entered in a pro this drawing for this prize, please share with us which of the products you thought seems the most interesting to you. So if you have invited someone to this, you are in a position then to basically go back and know how to follow up with that person. Does that make sense? Okay. The other thing, other ways that I would um, ask the, the questions would be like, for example, um, we're doing a belly buster challenge. If you would like more info and if you decide to join in on our belly buster challenge, please put your name below and let me know that you joined in and be entered for an even bigger prize, you know? 
And another one was I saved one of the biggest prizes for um, basically if you want to join in for tonight or if you want to actually join Plexus tonight, please put your name below. And I don't know how many people, lots of people were like me. I'm ready. You guys, I went silver again this month in a night. Like, I invited all those people and had people say, yeah, I'm ready. Where do I get started? Now, I gave the script of what I said in the beginning in that document that has the ad book here. I got to take that out, y'all. Don't tell people. But I, I did the script that I said that I kind of read from at the beginning, and then I added the, so I'm the host, the example of the host, my Facebook Live, this is what I said, and then I had a handful of speakers in between, and then again, okay, I want to, I'm going to respond to what somebody just said, silver in a night, okay, because I'm going to give you an explanation of to why that happened. Um, then I gave the script of what I said to end it with as well. Both of them could be basically modified a little bit and used by anybody who was hosting it because it was basically welcoming them, alleviating their fear so that they know they're not sitting there waiting on when I'm going to get around to the bad, bad news, like that it costs a thousand dollars to join or something ridiculous like that. Because anytime I've ever been invited to anything, like for example, I'm invited to a jewelry party. I'm going to walk in the door and think, where do I stick my $35? That's what the number I always used to have in my head before Plexus, weirdly enough. Where do I put my, where's the, who do I give my check to? Get me some earrings and get out of here, right? That's like the nicest way to be, be polite to whoever hosted the party. They get credit for their party. You get your overpriced earrings and you feel like you were a good friend and leave, right? So I felt that we should start the party by eliminating uh, uh, and alleviating fear and let them know nobody's going to ask you to do the big thousand dollar kit. There's no such thing, you know, and I put it in words that I felt sounded like, you know, I kind of knew what I was doing, sort of professional. And immediately, rather than saving all that information at the end, does everybody understand that you listen better if you think that the end is not going to be the gotcha, right? So in a thing like this, I wanted them to listen. I want them to listen. I keep looking at my chin. How y'all doing down there? So I keep basically, and I kept thinking to myself, I, I want this party, I wanted this past launch to be the best we'd ever done. I thought the testimonies were great. I have some great testimonies lined up for next Tuesday. We'll do it the same time. I will add in the, um, I will add the, the event link um, in just a little bit. If you decide to do one of these on your own at a later date or whenever, uh, I think all of the information, oh, for real, for real, let me change that. I can't believe I left Advil Carry in one of the slides. I've said their name like three times now. That, there's a commercial out for, um, is it Macintosh or not Macintosh? It's for Macintosh. No, is it? No, no. No, he gets confused. There's like a commercial out that, and all they ever say in, it, in, their, <laughs> in their advertisement is, I could have never done this with my Mac. They never say the name of their computer or their name of their editing software or whatever. It's for like art graphic type stuff. And every time the commercial goes off, I think, was that a Mac commercial? Because that's all I said was Mac. And anyway, terrible marketing. And that's what I've done now is I've mentioned another company like three times. But like I said, they didn't even have a blank to fill in for money. No blank for the money. I mean, I think, I think the money was blank. I think that's why there's no blank for it. So anyway, I don't know anything about them. I'm just being silly at this point. So, okay. I'll say it. I'm just giving you a Jenny's over there like, don't say it again. <laughs> okay, hang on. I want to look at my notes here that are on my screen and make sure, because I only printed out the first couple of pages of notes, and make sure I'm not leaving anything out. The, the actual party is set up, designed to overcome objections. There is a part where you can actually go in there and I ask people to tell, is there anything you spend 
three, two, three or four dollars on a day that you'd be willing to give up to be healthier. And lots of people responded to that. Not just ambassadors, lots of people came in and responded to that. So here are the rules. If you want to get in on this thing, I want you to do the giveaway. The, I mean, the gumball or the guessing, whatever it is. Put something in a jar and make people guess. Create your list of people to reach out to. Maybe reach out to people that, are, that you already have on your list of potentials. Invite them to join this Facebook Live, okay? Super important that you use the wording or similar wording to what I used because it worked. It worked really well. You, when you reach back out to them, you can cut and paste. Make sure you don't call it the gumball guessing game like I did a minute ago if it's not what it is, but call it whatever you called it on your Facebook wall. The other thing is if you're going to invite people, be present and be there engaged and waiting for them to reach out to you and ask you questions because they were asking bizarre questions on the wall and I feel like that was because they didn't have you to ask the questions to maybe. You understand? If they'd have had you, they say they could have messaged you and said, I don't see it. What's going on? Help. Where's my testimonies? I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be where it's like mostly just content on the wall. Everybody understand? Okay. Let me see what else there is. I think that's pretty much it for for the um, thing that we're doing on uh, next Tuesday. Now, from that, you en I end the thing by saying, you end the party by inviting them to something else, by basically saying, hey, just wanted to let you know about the Belly Buster Challenge we're doing. If you'd like to be added to that group and see if anybody got any more nibbles, any other bites. I I'm not gonna say a time yet, because I'm not certain I haven't discussed that with Jetty. Probably, if the last one was at seven, I thought that worked well. Same thing, same as last time. So, okay. I want to tell you the momentum. I can't express to you really is what I should say. Can't express to you the momentum that this can create the kind that you have to get a piece of paper out for. Now, some of you are all, some of you are like, I'm always in piece of paper out. I'm always making lists. I'm always checking it off. I'm always following up with people. But some of you are like, man, I wish my business was in the place where I needed to make lists again. And if you are in that place, this will put you there. I was even, okay, I have to respond to basically, somebody said, went silver in a night? Wow. Okay, I did all the things that I just described to you leading up to this. That's what led me to going silver in a night. And let me also just say, my warm market is tapped. These are not, the people that I signed up are not people that I've talked to in the past. They're not my neighbor or my sister or people that should be like gimmies to get on my team. The fact that we have a money back guarantee now for $35 annual membership for wholesale price kind of makes everything a duh, like with a capital D, a capital U and a capital H, right? It's like, you might as well join. We want everybody. Okay. The other thing that I forgot to mention was, the going silver in seven thing that I have promo that I have going on on the butterfly page right now. This should be top of your priority list. Working these two things hand in hand. It, the way that you, I'm going to be encouraging you to post on your wall and having it go hand in hand with the stuff that's on the notes from tonight. You should easily be able to get prospects on on the launch and then you kind of put it in our hands right you don't you don't have to be an ambassador that's been around forever to be able to drop your kids off at skateland and hope they have fun right you can be like i'm just gonna bring them to the party i hope you do what you're supposed to and then we'll take over the speakers will take over we'll post everything we'll keep everything moving and going right as long as you will follow along and make sure that you all that you show up and you do the things that you're asked to do, right? I hope everybody feels comfortable with. It. I, I'm excited about it. So, okay. So the silver and seven. There's a 
Um, that's going on with on our team in, in our team page. If any of you are not in my team page, I will share it with you as well. I'll share the the files that I've for here for tonight in other pay places that I have people on here for. We have four pages of people on here tonight. Did you know that? Mercy be. So okay, this team. I'm I'm gonna go spiritual on you for just a second. The Lord has been promising me that before the end of the year, there was going to be a rocket launch and it started at, at the, about the middle of October and it's gaining momentum. And I know I've been saying since about July, there's going to be some teams that take off like crazy, some legs of this team. They're going to take off like crazy. The Lord has already shown me this. I've had dreams about it the whole nine yards. And I told you guys back in like, August, July, and August, you can choose because the Lord didn't, I don't think he cares. He's like, they just need to grab onto the dream and go. So you can choose to be one. you can be like, yeah, that's going to be my leg. My leg's going to be one of the ones that chooses to take off. So those of you who are, who are on here tonight and you're like, this is what I need. I need this for my business. Please, pretty please. Join in on this effort with us. Let's create momentum for all of your legs. Let's get prospects on these live events. Um, if you're a person like me, this is where I get to tell on myself, who previously believed that this type of thing was stupid. I did. Last, two years ago at convention, I remember somebody talked about doing an online launch party, and I just practically did like this until they were finished talking because I thought, dumb, dumb, stupid, 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 $35, stupid pair of earrings, whatever. I'm not going to do those with my team. And then I had an awakening and realized this is what's working for people because people can do it from their home. They can watch a few videos, become interested, realize it's only a $35 uh, obligation, get started. Not every person who joins for $35 is going to, take off like a rocket on your team. I get that, but you have to get them started first to see if they're going to take off like a rocket. You understand? <coughs> okay. Moving on. Next thing on the agenda, Super Saturday. Did I already talk about Super Saturday? No. Super Saturday. Prioritize. <laughs> Prioritize, he says. Super Saturday is super important. Super Saturday, if you need to figure out tonight that you're going to register first thing in tomorrow when the email comes out, because they, these venues will fill up in the blink of an eye. Many of them will fill up tomorrow. It happened last year, and the whiny baby parade came out of nowhere telling me, I... I didn't, uh, two days later and they're like, I didn't get a seat. And I'm all like, I told you, you wouldn't. And so now I'm telling you, you wouldn't. And I can't even watch the whiny baby parade. I'll have to change the channel because I told you already. Right. So how much is registration? Do we know? Somewhere in 19, $20, something like that. It's usually what it is. So be on the ready. We'll post it the minute we see it. We'll post it on the butterfly page. Figure out who's going to babysit your kids and how you're going to get there after tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're claiming your seat. It's like musical chairs, and you're gonna, the butterfly team is going to be the fastest people in musical chairs. I'm serious. I, people had me so stressed out last year. At the last minute, they're like, Oh my gosh, if somebody will trade me, if they can't go, I need to, how do I go and in, in their place? Can I, can I'm like, just don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself and definitely don't do it to me. I don't want to stress out about your not getting to go to Super Saturday. Everybody wants to go. So when everybody wants to go and there's only so many spots, you got to be the first one to jump in the chair. Okay. Gosh. I'm excited about, I've never been, well, aside from my typo, we're going to call it that. I've never been more excited about an incentive thing that I put together as an entire package with graphics and everything included. So if you want to do it yourself, 
Okay. Like I'm really excited about it. Um, if you did not get in on the momentum from the last time we did it, starting with the guessing game, leading into the guessing game, uh, leading us into whether you could stick people in a belly buster or you could stick them in this uh, live party, then you may be thinking I'm over exaggerating it. However, if you were in the live event last time and you saw all the commotion, you'd be in the position of going, okay, yeah, I saw it. I wish I'd have stuck people in there like really wish. I'm going to go get some more prizes myself. But if you guys will commit to sending me pictures, I'm not saying everybody has to, don't get me wrong, but anybody who likes prizes, go get a couple prizes or go get one thing, two or three things and package them together as one prize. And then we'll figure out the prize thing later, but I do need a picture of your prize so that when I'm promoing the event, I can say, look at all these fun things that we're going to give away. Okay. I have not at all kept up with the chat. Have you, Jetty? Am I good? Okay. I do see, let me see if I see, I saw a couple of private things come up. I'm going to see if there are things that I need to answer. Okay. Make sure they click going. <laughs> I can't stress that enough to you because if they don't click going and you didn't ask them if they wanted to go, they're caught hostage in an event that they don't know how to get out of. That's the wrong. It's mean. It's wrong. Don't do that to people. Ask their permission. Okay. Okay. It, make sure your page is... Somebody said they had problems with other people seeing their posts. You need to make sure your page is set to public. Make sure your posts, because somebody said they did the candy jar game every day with no comments. Just make sure your post is set to public. If no, were anybody, was anybody liking it? Okay, I'm gonna wait for that person to answer me. Okay, I'll get back with you on that. Okay, we'll go over that. So we'll see if it what in the world was the deal. Okay. Okay. Somebody, Rhonda. Um, when you're asking to join, are you already a Plexus ambassador? I'm going to wait for that. Yes, with no upline. Okay. Send me a message after this call and we'll get you worked out, okay? Rather than me working it out with you in front of people, you know, here, we'll figure out what's going on. Okay. So I'm going to pray over you guys tonight. And I'm going to pray that you get a seat at Super Saturday. I'm going to pray that you don't start crying when you don't. I can joke about that because y'all know I'm not really going to pray about that, right? Well, I am secretly tonight after I go to bed, I'm going to pray about that. I'm going to say, Lord, don't let the whiny baby parade come marching through my yard, right? Okay, I'm just joking. I am going to turn my music on. <laughs> I'm glad y'all get my sense of humor so nobody gets offended me saying that. <laughs> Woo. I may have, okay. I guess some of us, some people are still on here with us live. All right. On my Facebook live. All right. All right. 
God, I want to thank you tonight for all the spirit-filled people that you have put on my team. And I want to thank you in advance for all the spirit-filled people that you're bringing to my team. Even as we speak, I feel it like I'm, I'm clammy-handed feeling it. Lord, I want to thank you for those people that you're bringing my, to my team who have never considered being spirit-filled and don't even think they want to. Lord, yes, bring them to us. Just let us love on them. God, thank you for Plexus. Thank you for the abundant, prosperous blessing of wellness and healing and finances that this company is to so many people that I care about. Lord, thank you for an amazing October. And I know that I don't even, like when I think about God, I bet he doesn't even look at stuff and see in October. But he does understand me when I say thank you because I saw so many people blossom and just come into the fullness of actually, I think it, in their mind, they might think it's the fullness of who they are. And I can see it clearly for it's the fullness of a, just a beginning. Like, <laughs> oh girl, we're just getting started. Lord, thank you for creative ideas. And thank you for your perfect timing. Lord, you are always right on time. I heard more than one story in the last couple of days about people who they know, Lord, that your timing of this Frank Up promotion, all of it came at exactly the right time. God, thank you for the way that you give favor. I just claim more and more favor for those on this team, for those who are walking in the spirit, who are walking in your path, Lord. I claim more and more favor and prosperity, grace and love and mercy on this team. Lord, I just ask that you get, give everyone that's on this call tonight uh, an indication of a higher calling and a purpose for them. I know full well that Plexus is a vessel. It's not an end. It's a means. It's not a destination, really, Lord. Some people really need this destination, God. This, some people really need the journey. They may think it's a destination, but they just really need the journey, God. And I'm so grateful for all of those situations. I'm grateful that at Leaders Retreat, you let me pray over people. And then today we got news of miracles. God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for miracles we haven't heard about yet. Thank you that you're raising this team up at this time. In this season, Lord, I just claim double everything, double promotion, double anointing. Just believe in it. I see it. Lord, that the rank advancements that happened so fast this month would be pushed with so much momentum. It's like a wave coming on the shore. And it's just building up right now. Lord, love on those tonight who feel brokenhearted for whatever reason. God, I just ask your Holy Spirit to come on them like, like a flood. Thank you. 
so that they can understand what it's really about to be a daughter or a son, to be royalty, God, to know that you're always there for us. Lord, I thank you that you're using every story, every life impacted as a testimony for your kingdom, God. I just ask that everyone on here, Lord, experience your love. Lord, give us angelic encounters. Give us dreams and visions. Give us hope, abundant hope for a bigger tomorrow, a brighter tomorrow. Turn the music down so you can see me. Lord, when I think about um, the thing that keeps coming into my mind, I keep thinking about is, Lord, thank you for your salvation. (laughs) Thank you that because of your salvation plan, that I know, that I know, that I know. what my life holds for me in eternity. And I can know that anything I see on this side of heaven is chump change in comparison. Lord, there's people on here tonight that need a miracle in their life. And I'm I'm the one talking, so I'm the one asking. We all join in agreement tonight. Asking for miracles for those who are on here tonight who need it. It's a miracle in healing, a miracle in a relationship. I believe that I believe that we're supposed to ask and stand expectantly and that's what I'm doing tonight. Whew. I don't know if you guys can feel that tonight, but wow. more Holy Spirit, more. I declare victory right now in the lives of anyone on this call. Victory over circumstance. Victory inside their heart to know. to know that you're working in their life, Lord. You're working in our life because we believe and we have faith and because you love us. And I I lift all of this up right now in Jesus' name. Amen. We had some people... Let me turn this down a little more. We had some people that joined us in the prayer circle that reached out to me today and told me. Um, and then some some didn't reach out to me. I saw it on their Facebook wall who received their miracle. And I'm just believing for anybody who believes that you will receive yours too. I, I feel like we can get all twisted up in not knowing what God's about to do. But I just know this. He's always working it out. 
Always working it out. The waiting time might be part of your testimony. The part that stinks might be part of what you get to tell later when you fill in the blanks of your story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. All right. Thanks for being on the call tonight, you guys. That's the quickest I've ever done a call, especially with that much content. I'm going to go change the words in that file. Maybe you should change it if you've already shared it somewhere or you can grab it from me in a few minutes. I'll post this call um, a little bit later as soon as I get it to load to, to YouTube. You guys have a great night. Oh yeah, I'm still live over here too. Y'all are awesome. Y'all got to watch my chin all night long. Look at all the hearts. I'm gonna show y'all what I actually look like. <laughs> Wait, and this is what I this is what I actually look like, and this is what I look like on Facebook. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop my live. Look at all those hearts. I wanna do it like this. I, w I wish Zooms had hearts. What? Scary Curry, I was like, who is that? They keep giving me hearts. All right, stop recording.